What's new in Loop? Well, there have been a lot of developments recently around task management and project management for Microsoft Loop. Uh, you've seen probably the Kanban board component appear and it, it looks pretty good. You know, you've got cards and you can do many different things, but many of you have asked, where is it going? Does it go anywhere? Is it going to synchronize or integrate with any of my other tools? Today I'm going to show you yes. Let's get into it. <laughs> So I wanted to talk to you about um, Kanban board and step you through it, but I'm going to start off by looking at the task list. I've got a task list that I've just done a quick forward slash and added one. I've added some tasks, of course. I've assigned them to people who have access to the workspace. I haven't put any due dates or anything like that. That's no problem. But you'll notice in the task list now, there is an additional column called bucket. Uh, that wasn't there before. And it's part of Microsoft's plan where they're building out this uh, additional columns with labels so that you can do this. You can change the view from table to board. So that's useful from itself, actually. Look, I can see that there's a, a task list. I can see that they're all in a to-do um, uh, bucket or channel, swim lane. Um, and then I'm able to... Uh, add groups and, and things to that. So maybe let's just add a group here while we're at it. So this is schedule build sessions. Let's just say that this is uh, technical, technical tasks. And that I might um, drag this one over to here. Okay, so we've got a Kanban board. We can switch back and see that as a table view. Very nice. Now here's the magic. We know that the tasks uh, within a task component synchronized through to planner. So what does this mean? If we switch on over to our open and planner, do they come across? Boom, yes they do. How about that? We've got the bucket that I added uh, and dragged over the task uh, to that bucket and it's all synchronizing with the planner um, application. So this means that uh, we have options, don't we? We can um, organize our tasks using a table, switch on over to our board and use that to uh, help uh, facilitate a meeting and organize things. Um, and then we can switch back uh, to familiar tools that synchronize with our other applications in Microsoft 365. Let's actually step through that now. Uh, so apart from it being synchronized in Planner, of course, it now becomes what's called a task uh, that's assigned to me if I have tasks that are assigned to me. Uh, so I can now see um, the couple of tasks. There's one here for the Kanban board, uh, rather the, the project uh, that I just created earlier. Um, we've also got, if we have a look into a view here, within to do the to-do app, uh, we can start to see those tasks that are assigned to me here. Uh, so I'm able to manage these things from uh, the to-do app. I can right-click this and say add to my day and make that a, a focus for uh, getting things done. So if we look at the final piece I want to show you, this is the integration into Microsoft Teams. Now we can use those separate apps. We can use Planner, we can use To Do, but the Planner app within Teams brings it all together and does a great job. Let's have a look at the tasks that have been assigned to me. So I am in the Planner app, currently called Tasks by Planner, but will be called the new Planner experience. And in my tasks, I can now look at tasks assigned to me and I can see that there's that same task that's being assigned on that uh, loop page. Um, I can also see that it's all um, synchronizing changes like that it's part of the My Day view. So if I go into My Day, I can see those two, um, two things that I want to do uh, from that plan. And you can see it's also connected to the loop page and the loop workspace. So that's a, another way of seeing that connection. But isn't that great? So uh, what is one other thing that we could do? Well, maybe we don't need to do this. Uh, we could, let's uh, jump into the task board for uh, that page. We'll copy that link, jump on over to the loop page, and just do a quick comparison. Here's the board, or the same task list in the Kanban board view. Um, and if we paste in our planner, this is the other thing that we can do. We can embed a planner board into a loop page. But you know, now that I've found this capability of 
changing the task list to a Kanban board view, um, it, it feels more functional. I mean, it feels like it's still allowing me to do what I need to do, that I can drag things over. Um, I can create a another, let's say, or design work stream. And oh, let's put that in a summary deck into there. So it might take a little while for it to synchronize to uh, Planner just below. Um, but it's all synchronizing back to that same list of tasks that we can manage from all the, app, the other applications. There we go. There's the design um, uh, channel bucket. I keep getting that wrong. And uh, we can uh, work with that. So I am pretty excited about seeing this and where it's going. Maybe if you want to um, draw other conclusions from this, uh, that this, uh, this Kanban board view it becomes quite flexible, but what else are they going to do with tables here? Uh, I want to encourage you to just keep watch on what is happening around tasks and around tables uh, because there are some very exciting things coming up uh, around managing tasks and uh, all kinds of things I'm, I'm gonna hold back but anyway if you found this really useful you know what to do subscribe like let people know about it and uh, we'll see you again in the next one bye for now